Hello everyone and welcome to another quick video tutorial on how to install the Grand Theft Auto 5 HUD for San Andreas. This is the same HUD that I use for my San Andreas multiplayer series, in the comments of which a number of people have been requesting download links for this exact HUD. I've been uh, reluctant to share download links because I had been planning this video tutorial for a while, which will also include all the download links that you will need to get the HUD installed. If we cut to single player quickly, you can see that I'm walking down the street here as CJ using the standard HUD that the game comes with. We have the standard radar down in the bottom left hand corner here and up in the top right hand corner we have the standard money counter, weapon selection, all that good stuff. So uh, for the purposes of this tutorial we are going to be installing this HUD on a clean install of San Andreas. So the first thing we're going to need is the first download link available in the description which will take you to this website here which is clio.li slash download where you can download the Clio library for San Andreas. The one we're going to be downloading here is version 4.3.16 Clio 4. So you want to click download here. The file is only 872 kilobytes, so it will take no time at all to download. I've already done that, so I'm not going to download it now. Once you download it, I've just saved mine to desktop. Once you've downloaded it, go to wherever you've saved it and open up the exe file and click run. Comes up with the security prompt, just click yes. You want to select your language as English, then you want to click next, and then next again, and that will ask you to specify where your San Andreas is located. I have the Steam version of San Andreas, so mine will be in F Drive Program Files Steam Steam Apps Common because I'm using a clean install and not my uh, main folder, I want to go to the backup I've made called Clean Install and click OK. And you want to click Next and it'll give you a list of uh, component parts that you can pick and choose to install. I'd recommend just installing all of them. So click Next and then click Install. That's the installation completed. That's not any editing there at all. It really is that fast. And then you click Next, untick these boxes because you don't want to look at the readme's and then click Finish. And your game now has Clio installed. Uh, the next step would be to go to the second link in the description which will bring you to this Mediafire page here to download Multiplayer Edition by IN45DO or IN45DO or whatever this guy's name is who is the creator of the original HUD mod. The Multiplayer Edition will be the one that removes the Special Abilities bar from GTA 5 so then you've just got Health and Armor. Uh, the download is 245.68 kilobytes, so it will take no time to download at all again. I'm not going to download it. Uh, the thing I know to note about Mediafire links is sometimes the download won't work immediately, and it will say that there was a problem and you need to repair the download or something. Uh, it's tedious and it's annoying, but it, it will work eventually, so if, it, if you get that problem then just persist with it and you will eventually get to your download. I've already got the download ready, so I don't need to download that. Once you download the RAR file, you will need to extract the folder from it. And then opening the folder, you want to press Ctrl and click for GTA 5 HUD folder, GTA, sorry, GTA 4 HUD folder, GTA 4 HUD.ASI and RadarRect.ASI. And you want to copy those by right-clicking and going to copy. Then you want to go to... Oh, hang on, I've closed it. Let me just load up my San Andreas folder quickly and then go to my clean install, there we go. And you want to paste these into your San Andreas directory. Your next stop will be to go to the second media file link in the description, which will be for a GTA 5 add-on. Again, click download, save it to wherever you like, and then want to locate the file. I've already got it on desktop here, so I'm going to copy this, go back to my San Andreas directory, and then I'm going to uh, go to the Clio folder and paste. Once you've done that, you then need to go back to your San Andreas directory. You need to click the GTA 4 HUD folder. Then you need to open radar.ini in Notepad. I'm going to full screen that. This is configuration settings for where things go on the screen. And then with this, what you want to do is go to the fourth and final link in the uh, description, which will bring you here to Pastebin, where I have provided a list of settings that you will need to configure the GTA 5 add-on. 
to work with the GTA 5 HUD. So then you want to come down to the bottom here at um, Raw Paste Data. Let's click anywhere in it. Then you want to click, press uh, Select All. Then you want to copy that. And you want to come back to your radar.ini file. You want to right click. You want to select all. Then you want to paste. That's now updated the settings. And you want to save that file by going to save or pressing Control S. And that should now be your HUD installed and ready to go. If we cut to the game here quickly. And here you can see I'm in the game and walking down the street, the same as I was before, but now we have the money counter in the corner at the top right, and down in the bottom left we have the GTA 5 HUD, the GTA 5 radar, uh, and a display that tells us the time, the location we are on the map, how much health we have, and how much armor we have. That's a relatively simple process for installing that, uh, that HUD mod. It's been highly requested, and now you all know where to A, get the HUD, and B, how to install the HUD. So if you found this video useful, I would appreciate a like. You can also subscribe if you're new to my channel, because I've got other great content, including other modding tutorials. I've got a Let's Play on San Andreas Multiplayer and various other games. Um, other than that, I would appreciate a comment if you found this useful as well. And you can also get to me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Wibbington. So that's just about it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.